Hi guys, welcome to the channel. This is Engelgeist. Um, for those of you that are new, welcome. For those of you that are returning, welcome back. And for those of you that support me over on Patreon, thank you so very much for your monthly subscriptions. If you're interested in supporting the channel with a monthly subscription, you get this forecast a day early over on Patreon.com. You can look up Engelgeist over there and um, subscribe. You can choose a level of subscription. And there's, you know, not only do you get the reading early, you also, um, there's other readings that are available for different levels of subscription. Okay, so let's see what's going on. Today we are working on Tuesday. This is the forecast for Tuesday, October 6th. It's not necessarily only set for that date. It is also, um, uh, you know, valid for whenever you see it. I believe that it's a message for the highest good of the greater collective. Therefore, when you're seeing it is when you're supposed to see it. So you don't have to turn this off if you see the date and you're like, oh my God, it's not the same. This works for you whenever it finds its way to you is the premise, the idea, the intention. If it doesn't make sense, even when you are watching it, whenever that may be, that's okay. It doesn't mean anything's wrong or out of place or out of whack. Just might be that you're on a different trajectory or a different you know path and that's completely fine and this is a broad spectrum reading for many people who may view it whenever so you kind of have to figure out where uh the things that i say where they fit in your life and um also if you choose to make any decisions in your life after having watched this video due to this video those are your responsibility okay those decisions all right so let's Get into this for Tuesday the 6th and see what's happening. Feels like October is just moving right along. A lot of stuff planetarily that's going on in October. Like a lot. Mercury's gonna go retrograde. We've got two full moons. Like, you know, it's gonna be nuts. There's other things that are happening too that I don't even, can't even remember right now, but it's not. All right, so let's see what our first card is. Our first card is Wings. I love this card. Okay, so it's a very simple card. It makes me think of taking flight or preparing to take flight, maybe taking action. Uh, to me, when I think of Wings, there's a lightness to it, right? There's like a a joy to it or maybe a freedom and remember our grounding stone for the week was joy right it's sitting over here i always place the grounding stones over here to the side so that we can kind of keep track of what they are for the week and that they don't you know get picked more than once excuse me wings to me are about freedom right they're about travel they're about lightness about joy about exuberance enthusiasm they bring us opportunity. They bring us freedom. Um, wherever we kind of, I, I mean, to me, when I look at this wings card, it feels like dreams even for some of you, like the possibility of maybe achieving your dreams. Uh, today would be a good day to sort of uh, not only like sit with those ideas, but actually like play in them, right? And what I mean is, is you know, um, play in the feeling of it, play in the desire of it, play in the idea of it, maybe start taking uh, first steps towards it or, uh, you know, beginning to fly towards it like these wings sort of would represent. Uh, we may not be able to arrive there immediately, right, to whatever the end result is or the end outcome is, but whatever that desire is, whatever that hope is, to me, this wings card feels very... Um, uh, open to that or like excited by that inspired by that let me see what is the it was that toad card right so we could be hitting you know it's kind of in between toad and praying mantis and that praying mantis if i remember correctly was sort of that new way of thinking right it's how i sort of interpreted it um uh you know i mean to take it from a very basic level, the praying mantis, right, is this sort of uh, weird creature that's peaceful, right, but it's praying, you know, so it's spiritual in my mind. <laughs> so when I think about the praying mantis, like if we're shifting from that toad, which also has that magical ability, right, that sort of 
toads are associated with magic, witchery, um, that sort of thing. And the idea of kissing a toad and it turning into a prince, right? Or a frog. It's usually a frog, but I'll say toad this time. Um, you know, and then we have uh, praying mantis on the other side of that. To me, when I look at these things, it's like opening ourselves up uh, to new ways of um, uh, uh, taking action in our life feeling inspired, that's the swing sort of thing. So allow that energy of praying mantis underneath it to kind of uh, connect you to your spirit, connect you to your more peaceful nature. Um, and then how do you go about creating what it is that you want, right? Or what it is that you desire? How do you let your sort of, your dreams take flight, your, uh, the opportunities take hold, how do we sort of, you know, move towards them? And I think that this, to me, this wings feels sort of like all about the feeling of it, right? How we, how we feel our way into it, how we, um, uh, how much we choose to focus on it and what that focus, uh, you know, being more mindful of like where our energy is focused at and how that focus makes us feel. And if it's not something that's based in like sort of freedom, joy, and, you know, maybe even peace, then we need to shift our focus, right? We need to move it towards something that's more positive, more joy-based, more um, exciting. So this is the card from the uh, Queen of the Moon Oracle. This is the New Moon, which is Beginnings, card number two. Okay. Something new is taking place for some of you, uh, or for maybe all of you. There's an opportunity here with wings and new beginnings to, um, for something new to sort of take flight is my feeling. I love that way in, when you look in this card too, there's like sort of this like dark, like sort of snowy feeling. And then we have the spring coming in through the doorway. Like we have to take the chance. We want to remove not remove, but move ourselves from something that was maybe desolate or no longer working into something that's new, rejuvenated, and exciting, right? And so to me, when I look at these two cards playing off of one another, it's the excitement of that, it's the newness of that. The number two always brings in that idea of companionship or relationships in, in you know, uh, union to me. This card being card number two uh, speaks to the idea of you know, maybe us coming in alignment or connection to this idea of this new beginning or the hope that comes in on this wings card. Does that make sense? So there's an excitement here. There's an opportunity here. We have to, I don't think that we're going to like not see it, right? We, these cards to me feel very, um, I don't want to say obvious, but it seems very apparent that there's an opportunity or a doorway, uh, a desire, um, an excitement, something that excites us that is uh, becoming possible, right? And I hope that's the case for you guys. And if you know what this is, whatever this may be, if it's a, like, say, a new job or a new relationship, a new friendship, um, some sort of opportunity, something that brings us joy, something that brings us happiness, whatever that is for you, um, see it, grab it, fly towards it, move with it, enjoy it, um, research it, right? Like, don't fret. Um, let go of anything that sort of holds you back. That's that snowy scene here. Anything that's sort of from the past, anything that sort of maybe weighed you down. Because um, this, the Wings card to me speaks to this idea of no longer being weighed down. Also, this sort of freedom of being able to uplift oneself and move towards this new beginning. New moons are always also about building of power, right? and sort of the accumulation of that or the momentum, the steam, right? And I feel like that's also this wings card. It's like we have the energy. There's a lightness to this wings card where it feels like we have the energy, the inspiration, the excitement to actually go after it. Uh, and now is the time to do so. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Let's see. Did we just have what? I think we just had the full moon, right? We're not in a new moon. So, okay. Let's see what the is. Okay, we see this one all the time. This is friends. Whoops. Let's put that back up there. So friends to me makes me think of support. And when I think of support, I think of 
these wings, right? I think of uh, some of our friends might be able to associate ourselves or that we have people that we associate with maybe avenues to getting ourselves to these new beginnings. Um, uh, also, I feel like friends ties into that underpinning stone of joy, right? Um, where our friendships bring us joy, where they bring us hope. To me, when I'm looking at these three together, like it's really key on this day that we are mindful of our sort of our emotional intentions, right? Or where we place our belief, where we place our attention. Are we in hope? Are we in support? Are we in joy? Are we in possibility? All of these things are things that we want to stay focused on. If our friends can help us to stay sort of buoyant and and um, uh, positive, uh, utilize their influence, their support, uh, rely upon it as it sort of, you know, lifts you up to go through uh, and work out these plans, right? Whatever this new beginning is for you. Um, and that could also be the two aspect of the new beginnings card is like say maybe you and a friend or a couple of friends, sort of them supporting you and their energy, their ideas, their belief in you also helping to sort of lift you to higher possibilities. Um, and all of this should be done from that place of, you know, sort of joy, exploration, creation, all of these sort of great um, feeling sort of um, intentions and energies. I don't know why you're on that door all day today. The cat has been like at the spare room door, like sniffing the door all day. There's probably a guest in there that I don't know about. All right, so let's go to the definitions and we will read them really quick. Where's Wings? Wings is wishes, ambition, and wandering. So definitely that feeling of travel. I also feel freedom. I feel lightness. I feel opportunity. I feel like, you know, ready to take that jump off the cliff kind of thing. There is a slight risk to the Wings card, but to me, it feels exhilarating. It feels exciting. It feels challenging in a good way. So run with that today. And let's go to card number two, which is New Beginnings. Come on, New Beginnings. Oh, I'm sorry, it's not, is it? I thought it's a, oh, it's just beginnings. So it's not new beginnings, it's just beginnings. So some new cycle, something new is happening. So new moon, beginnings. You are offered a fresh start. Your journey is beginning. Take the first steps towards something new. It is time to place emphasis on your health and well-being. I accept and rejoice in renewal and beginnings. There is something incredibly poetic and even romantic about the time that tiny slip sliver of silver that is the new moon. After the waning cycle and depth of the dark moon, here is, appe here is appearing in the sky, incredibly, a crescent of the finest light, almost a scratch upon the blackboard of the universe. Here is the evidence that even after the darkest night, light returns again. The crescent of the new moon is an ancient symbol that stretches back to ancient prehistory. There are cave drawings featuring crescent moons, sculptures of goddesses with crescent moon diadems, and the goddesses Aphrodite, Hecate, Diana, Artemis, Inanna, and many Central Asian female deities were often depicted with new moon symbology. Go back even further into Neolithic cave paintings where moon and sun symbology features with no phase more commonly being depicted than the new moon. When the new moon appears in the lunar cycle, we are gifted with a new beginning and a fresh start. What we have identified as useless or unneeded anymore has been released in the void of the dark moon. And here waiting is a new chance. Here we get to renew our lives and feel free enough to risk trying again. Whether we are asking for a fresh start in relationships or a new love or held, heralding the actioning of intentions such as better health, a new business, or a start of a new project, riding the new moon energy will assist us. Many creative people start new works on a new moon, and I personally, as an author, like to begin all of my new works on this phase, even if beginning means simply typing up the cover page or outline. The most powerful of new moons for new starts traditionally are within the season of spring. The companion stone or metal is Celestine. So 
I don't know if celestine is the same as celestite. If it's celestite, which is like a crystal, I have tons of that in my house. I love that stone. It's a very light blue stone. It's also associated with angels, which to me is interesting because we have this winged card. So if cel celestine and celestite are the same thing, um, it's interesting. We have wings there, which also is associated with angels. And then we think of friends and our angelic friends all around us, supporting us, moving us forward. For, so for some of you that m have more of an um, angelic focus towards this, that could very much mean these three, this three, two cards, one stone combination could be the connection of that also. Uh, like angels showing up or angelic beings showing up to sort of offer support, help, and move you through uh, into a new phase. So to me, these feel like very, very exciting cards, and I think that we should uh, pay heed to them and get very excited. Um, I would love to hear what your guys' experiences are. Please tune in tomorrow and let me know. Um, you know, we'll see how this builds. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe, share it out, and I will see you guys tomorrow. All right, love you all. Take care. Bye-bye.